welcome back to our channel. In this video I am break down how to create this transition. I'll show you how to quickly and easily create a paper collage effect. We see that you like a paper theme videos and <laughs> that's awesome. We also like to create videos about it. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new and useful videos. My name is Dima from Studio Snack and let's start without further ado. So I'm in Premiere Pro, I have a clip of uh, Drake on the timeline. First we need to create still images from any part of the clip. We select a frame and press uh, this photo icon, which means export frame. Choose uh, where to save this frame. I'll call it uh, Drake 1 and so on. I will export five different frames from our clip. Now let's add all the frames to the timeline. I will delete the part of the clip uh, where I want to create the transition. You can choose any spot for the paper collage in the video. It could be the beginning, middle or end of the video. I want the transition to last about 20 frames. So I trim the first photo with Drake. Next, every three or maybe four frames, I will place our photos uh, sequentially. Eventually, I'll have something like a staircase. And this is how it looks on our timeline at the moment. Now, the most important thing to achieve the paper collage effect or transition, we need a high quality paper. For this video, I'm gonna use our crazy paper project. There are unique and insanely high quality tape and paper assets that you will definitely be happy with. And I highly recommend them if you're editors or photo editors, to be honest, it doesn't matter. And I leave a link below this video. I'll add a paper texture under our frames. I'll use for this maybe paper one. I want it to be white and bright. Go to effects and look for the invert effect and edit. And now we start creating the paper collage. Leave the first frame and to keep everything clean on the timeline and uh, understandable, I'll move the other frames to the right. Add the paper over the first frame. Now very important, make sure you have done nest for the clip and separately for the paper. For this select the frame, right click and nest. I will call it D1. Do the same for the paper texture and uh, call it P1. Go to effects and look for track made key. Add it to our first frame. In Mate, choose video 3 because our paper is on the third track. Duplicate the paper and select the blending mode screen. You can duplicate uh, the top paper as much as you want. The more copies means uh, you can get more paper scratches maybe, noises and paper texture. But in my case, one copy is enough. Also in Lumetri Color we can adjust the curve, make the frame and also the paper more contrasty. Add tapes on the top. Each tape uh, we export it on a transparent background so you can quickly position the tape where you like. I'll move the first tape here and then add the second one. I'll move it closer to the right edge. Select the first frame and everything on top. Expect the lower paper. Right click and nest. I will call it collage 1. Next we do the same for all other frames. Add different paper, do a nest separately for the frame and paper and then apply the track made key effect to our frame. What I like about this effect is that you can experiment with different textures and add various tapes and get very different and creative results. When we are finished uh, we get this effect. Each frame in the center just appears over another. But let's make it much better. Now we can move, we can scale it up, scale it down and rotate our frames uh, however we want. You can do this uh, however you like and position the frames wherever you want. Let's do this really quickly. In the end you should get something like this. I tried not just to overlap each previous frame. I want to get an interesting and perhaps maybe logical animation. Let's see what we got. And this is what I'm talking about. I like how each frame seems to move closer to us and then seamlessly flows into the next part of the clip. Now select the first frame, go to effects and look for the transform effect. Place the first keyframe uh, at the beginning of for scale, I'll set it about uh, 105 and then go to the next frame and set it about 100. Next, very important. Remove the checkbox from Use Compositions Shutter Angle and set the, the shutter angle to 360. We get a very cool blur at the start of the animation. Duplicate the transform effect and paste it at the beginning of each frames. 
Then go back to the first frame, look for brightness and contrast effect and edit. Play the first keyframe for brightness and the beginning. Set the value to about 70, I will set 75. Then go 5 frames forward and set brightness to 0. Copy the brightness and contrast effect and paste it at the beginning of all other clips. Overall frames I'll add more paper. I'll add the same as we have in the background, only I make the color black using saturation and lumetry color. Choose the blending mode screen. This way we get more noise and scratches. Select our entire effect, right click and nest. I'll call it uh, paper collage effect. Create a new adjustment layer and edit. We will now make a fast flash transition. Go 3 frames forward from the beginning of uh, the layer, trim and delete the unnecessary. Now simply extend the length of the adjustment layer to the left by 3 frames. Look for brightness and contrast effect and edit to the adjustment layer. In the center set a keyframe about 60 and the edges I will set 0. So we get a fast flash transition at the start of our effect. And now simply duplicate the adjustment layer to the end of our effect. Add another adjustment layer on top. Make the length the same as the lower adjustment layer and add the transform effect. Now we set keyframes for position and scale at every frame. Move each frames by small values and uh, make sure the frame is fully filled uh, and there are no empty zones. Right now we're creating a shake effect. Also duplicate the shake effect to the end of our effect. Now we can see what we've got. Looks very cool, but I think we can add something else. Select our clip, go to effect controls and set the first keyframe for scale. Then go to the end of our effect and set 105. And now we can see our final result. I think it looks just insanely cool. I really love creating different effects, some transitions using paper. And with our collection, which has over 200 different paper and tape assets, I really can't limit myself and create a lot of different effects, some animations and transitions. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. It really helps us to keep making more. See you next one. Good luck.